We're doing lesson 1-4, and this is properties of a number. We talked about some important properties here. We talked about the commutative property, and we talked about that today. And that has to do with the order in which we either add numbers together or multiply them. 3 plus 8 is the same as 8 plus 3, just switching the order. Or 5 times 7 is the same as 7 times 5. The associative property is how we group the numbers. So we've grouped the four plus five and then adding, and then are adding one, and that's equal to four plus group of five plus one. So how we group the numbers when we add um, doesn't affect the equation. Nine times two times six is the same as nine times two times six. So we group the two and six in this equation. We group the nine and the two in this equation. The identity property, the identity property of addition states any number you add 0 to gives you that number itself. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 1,300 plus 0 is 1,300. And the identity property of multiplication, any t number you multiply by 1 will give you that number itself. 8 times 1 is 8. 3,642 times 1 is 3,642. Now the distributive properties when we distribute numbers out. So we have 6 times 9 plus 14 and that's the same as 6 times 9 plus 6 times 14 and here it is written out 6 times 9 plus 6 times 14. 8 times 5 minus 2 is the same as 8 times 5 minus 8 times 2. That's the distributive property. More on that a little later. So in our homework, we had to identify the property, and here the order changes. 12 times 14 is equal to 14 times 12, and that's the commutative property. Anything we multiply by 1 will give you that number itself. 1 times 36 equals 36. So that's the identity property. And here we've grouped them differently. So if we group the 17 plus 36 plus 4, that's the same as, as if we group the 36 plus 4. That's the associative. And here's the associative Again, where we simply grouped the numbers together, and here we have, um, here we have, we have the commutative property, order, identity property, multiplying by one, associative. We're grouping the 17 plus 36, and here we group 36 plus four, and that makes no difference. And here we're grouping again. So let's move on. Um, and this is practice B, and you can check your own 1 through 4 for practice B, the back side of the paper we worked on. And now we're asked to use some of these different um, rules here to help us multiply. So which property can I use? Well, 4 times 9, that's pretty tough. Um, but I can, I know because of the commutative property, I can multiply these in a different order. I can do 4 times 50 times 9 and that's a little easier for me so 4 times 50 is 200 and 200 times 9 you can write that out 200 times 9 is 1800 and in this case I use the commutative property I'm just gonna write commutative property Let's look at another one. We have 33 plus 45 plus 7, and this is the associative property of grouping. But I can take these off, and I can say I'm going to rewrite this as 33 plus 45 plus 7. I could have grouped them differently. I could say, and that would be the associative property, I could say uh, 33 plus 45 plus 7, and I'm grouping it differently. That's the associative. But I want to add them in a different order, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, and that's going to be the commutative property. So I'm going to say 33 plus 7, I, I, that's a little easier for me because I know that's 40, and then plus 45. So it's easier if I put these in a different order, and that will not affect my sum or my answer. 33 plus 7 is 40, plus 45 is 85. Oops, excuse me, I started to write 85. So this one's 85. And you could have used the associative property, grouped them different, but I use the commutative property. I 
added them in a different order. However, which way you did it, just write down what property you used as long as you got the 85 there. So now we're being asked to use the distributive property to find each project product. 3 times 26, that's the same as 3 times this 2, that's a 20, 3 times 2 tens, or 20, plus 3 times 6, 3 times 2, 3 times 6, 3 times 6. When I was younger, I remember thinking of it as shooting missiles. The distributive property was like I was distributing missiles. Multiply this one first, three times two, poo, poo. And I pretended like I was playing video games while I was doing my math. Then add that to three times six. So three times 20 is 60. Three times six is 18. And that way, you know, I could have done this in my head, and 60 plus 18 is 78. And you can use the distributive property in your head. Three times, if I say three times 26, I don't need to write it down. I can think three times 20 is 60. Three times six is 18. Uh, 60 plus 18 is um, 78. And let's look, we have another one here. Oh, they wrote it backwards. I like to think of it the other way. Though. Nine times 10 plus nine times eight. So we have nine. We have one ten and eight ones, so nine times ten plus nine times eight. Okay, let's take a look. Not a very good eight here. I'm a little. Let me redo that for us here. I make a lot of mistakes just because I write a sloppy number. So nine times ten is ninety. And I add that to 9 times 8 is 72. And I can just line these up. I have 2 in my 1s. And six, 9 plus 7 is 16. 1, 62. I line that up. I use the distributive property to help solve this one. So the secret code is... Um, the secret code... That you'll get extra credit for watching this is PAL. If you say, when you say PAL, that's the secret code. And I'll give you some extra credit points for watching. Thanks for watching.